Five minutes, fellas. Five minutes. I right, appreciate it, man. Oh, okay. You getting that bed in before the boom, oh, huh? Yeah, yeah, LA all the way. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, man. You know it's Boston, baby. Stop it. KG, I understand why you said it, but it's LA. Jay, are you serious? You know what? It's LA. Why are you standing up? Because I got to stretch on out. Because it's LA. L you know what? You ain't scared me. Let me tell you something. That it's ain't enough. Boston, Boston, Boston. It's LA. Yo, what's up, Hoop fans? It's KG, and I got a special offer from BetMGM, the king of sportsbook. Football is over. Now it's about the league. And the NBA is about to step up and dominate. In a new era, and we're about to bring it like game seven. Hey, shout out to BetMGM for that. You feel me? Download the BetMGM app and use bonus code KG150. Yes, KG150. When you place a $5 pregame money line wager on any NBA game. After the game, you're walking away with 150 in bonus bets right on the spot. Yes, right on the spot. No matter how your bet goes down, it's a win-win situation, baby. We're making moves, and you're cashing in. Guaranteed. Load up your picks and take the action straight from the hardwood to your bet slip. Bet with the best. Head to BetMGM, grab that promo, and let's lock in the NBA action. Only at the King of Sportsbook. Yes, sir. What up, what up, P? What you got on? I got so and I'm super bad. bad. Right, James Brown. <laughs> and I'm super bad. <laughs> I like that. That's hard right there. Oh, shit. I need to get I like that one. Man, you flex, you know what I got on, man. If y'all know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Right, take it in truth. We got so and, and I'm super, super bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. Damn. Yes, sir. Man, P, I wanted to ask you this question before we start. I know they set the cameras and shit up. P, have you hit 30 on every team in the league? I don't think so. Now look it up. I think you have, P. Maybe not the Bulls. Think about this. Why the Bulls, I hate it. Me Bulls. too. You know what? I, I like what playing in Chicago, but <laughs> Chicago's rims, dog. Nah, it was the worst Chicago, play to shoot, nah, man. it was the lighting, the depth perception. Deception, right. You couldn't even, the rim look weird, and then the People don't understand one. that in NBA arenas. There's certain yeah. NBA, NBA arenas. It's terrible for shooting. Terrible for shooting. I thought United Center was one of them, especially when you only coming in for that one day. Hey, you don't get the practice on the rim. And then the best spot for me was Portland. like New York. Portland. I love LA. LA had a dark perception when yeah, the orange the rim. Best. Yeah, I like LA and yeah. I like New York. I'll bring up your 40 pieces that you've had. Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> that jersey. That nigga love Jer Jersey. I love Jer going to Jersey. Dog. Jersey. I love Phoenix, going to Jersey. Phoenix, Sac, uh, Philly, Detroit, Miami, Atlanta, Orlando, Eastern Conference. Minnesota, Damn. The Eastern. Lakers, the Knicks, uh, the Supersonics. The Bulls, the Bulls, you had a 40-piece. I, I don't even remember that yeah, one. Yeah, that was in uh, 2005. Damn, he not gave all, all these teams, he gave 40-piece before? At least a 40-piece. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. that's so hard, man. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Top 20 scoring games. Uh, and then the Knicks I mentioned, the Nets, and then Cleveland is Damn. your highest scoring game. Start over, Nate. Do it again. All right, all right. So uh, at All the Eastern 20, Conference down there. Number one. Start at one. Uh, number one, uh, Cleveland. Damn. Number two, the Nets. Yeah. I know why, though. Number three, the Knicks. <laughs> Number four, Denver. Damn, Denver. I hate it playing against Denver. Denver. Getting buckets over there. Chicago at six. Chicago Damn. at six. Yeah, you had a uh, I don't even remember. in that game, 2005. I don't even remember Chicago. Uh, the Supersonics about at 05 as well. <sighs> The Knicks again. Supersonics. Damn. Yeah, nigga, Seattle. You know you're not laid it down up there, boy. Probably in got some... Seattle, too. In Seattle. Oh, I got a whole oh, family nah, You know in what Seattle. it is? Nah. <laughs> I, you know what it was? It was probably GP yapping and shit. Oh, word? You know, GP fire Turn you up. up. Uh, he, was <laughs> in, he was in Miami. Oh, he was in Miami then. Miami. Oh, I don't know what it was then. Minnesota, uh, mm. 01. So right. I was in Minnesota. You right. two guys head to head. Oh, yeah, and I was, was Zerbiak. The, the Lakers, <laughs> the Lakers was 01, hot. I think this was the truth game. Yeah, I think this was that the, is, the that was, game. that was. Uh, Phoenix. Right yeah. after that, that was right after that. Phoenix was right after that. Yep, exactly, two days later, yep. So you have back-to-back -back 40 pieces, exact same, 42 points in both games. Yep. That's crazy. It's all coming LA back. Feet. It's all coming no, I back. Look. That. I remember that. Play the harp. Play the harp from music. <laughs> it's all coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orlando. We have Atlanta, Miami, Cleveland again, uh, Detroit, Philly, Sac, and Phoenix. It's 
So those are your top three scoring games. That's baller, Lord. Yeah. Cleveland at least three or four times. There. So listen, I never asked you this. I'm going to ask you this on camera. Don't give me no commercial shit. <laughs> Toughest defender of all time. On me? On you. Ron, Ron. Yeah, that's it. You ain't got no further than him. That's it? No, I don't go no further than him. No, yeah, he ain't was... no Trevor Reeses. Ron, Not Ron, of... Ron, Ron. It ain't, it ain't even I seen no Henry. Ron. I seen Henry do decent on you. Why was nah, that? No, nah, Ron. No, nah, because Ron was strong. Yeah. And he could move lateral. He yep. had good hands. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was good at getting my shoulder on you and getting you, getting to bump you and getting you off balance. When you bumping him, he he taking the bump, absorbing, absorbing it. it. Mm. And so it's hard. Then he had long arms and he, and, and he slid well. He slid mm. well. He was one of the best defensive players yet because, you know, a lot of times I was either stronger or I could shoot over him, right. go by him. But he had a good combination of strength and speed, especially laterally. And he had good hands. So you couldn't, you couldn't fuck around with the ball right, with him right, either. Right. He, He'll take it from you too. Ron was one of them, uh, Meta World Peace was one of them people that, Pete, you had to have that one two dribble combo to get a guy off. Right. A lot of people don't know. Respects to Meta, respects to Dennis Rodman, respects to all the great uh, defenders, Ben Wallace. Yeah. They, 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 what, what, to me, great defenders, great defenders initiated defense when you was in the interaction of offense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you wasn't that dude to, you know, uh, go right when you wanted to go right because the nigga was sending you left, right. bro, you, you, you were not like that. That's what I'm trying to say. It, the ultimate defender, it took an ultimate scorer like yourself yeah. or someone of upper echelon that, could, that knew how to actually Im implement, okay, here's some offensive game and shit. Like, man, you know what I love watching sometimes? When the ball ain't even touched the ground. I'm watching both. I'm watching both the uh, offensive player and I'm watching the defender. Yeah. And a lot of people think that the offensive player is actually dictating that. It's actually the defender. The defender is in your hands and he giving you away and you got a great a, defender. A great defender, excuse me. Not a, not a regular, I'm talking about a great defender. Yeah, a great yeah. defender is going to dictate where you go, how many dribbles you get, and then right. a hard contest or some bullshit either, right? Right, right. And that's to me person that can handle all that is a king of offense. And I always wondered that, bro, because what Paul Pierce to me, because I not guarded you a couple times on, on, on whatever it was. Yeah. And one thing I'm always fascinated with you, because you know me, I'm contesting high. So not so much at you, but my right. shit, when I contest you, I'm contesting that you're going to have to make the ball go like this right, and then right. come down. Man, peace to me, this is my own person. Yeah, yeah. Man, your, your, your ability to see nothing. Right, right. I used to always I used to say, I see, I used to see it to you. And you say that, ticket, I don't see you. I'm like, look, I'm like, damn. I fuck that. Then I don't get look. at him, like, no, look. I remember you in Minnesota, you hit me like, man, I don't see you. I was like, man, look, this nigga look, hit look. that shit. So our little pregame routine. Oh, right? no, no, we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. had a little pregame routine. Well, you do our layups and we get our warm up. We get up. our little warm up. We call and it then, get on. But then, and then, it could be at any time, too, though. And then we'll go one on one. Hard. We, we each get one possession. And that's it. It's over. And it's over. It's hard, though. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah, get and stop. it could be at any time, Nate. So here, so I'll the be down there, get ready to shoot free throw. Here, throw it, and I catch it. And, and it's on. And then I'll be like, oh, shit. When the ball just came this is Listen, before every game. And we throw we the ball this. 100 miles an hour at you, and you got to catch it, or you get big. <laughs> and then everybody else moves the fuck out the way once we go up playing. Because it's super physical. One possession. It's super physical. Right before the game. Come on, nigga. You ready? <laughs> what you gonna do tonight? Nigga, what you, I'm like, hold right. on, nigga, hold on. No, oh, oh no, shit. You might not get it. I don't know. Whatever your move is. But P is extra. He had. Right, you shoot right, the whole right. <laughs> We go one uh, possession before every and, game. And, and we're flipping around. And I right, get up. I, around. I, I right. jump right back in. I'll be all up in here. I'll be one, I'll even want to see if I'm ready. I'm like, is you ready? I'm talking about it's a hard one possession. It's though. a hard. <laughs> like you, it's damn near get flagrant a bucket. energy. Get it's, a bucket. It's flavored energy. <laughs> it's flagrant energy. Get right a bucket. Before, right before the game. Right before the game. <laughs> it is. Let's get it, Nate. The first thing I want to ask you You made me think of that. Last week, uh, Truth Lounge. Shout out to the Truth Lounge. Yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned the Knicks will not get out of the first round, and you 
the Flames at in the playoffs. I'm looking at it. So I'm going to pull up I'm gonna pull up the data. I did a little research on this. Yep. So the Knicks, when they play teams above 500, are 20 or below 500, excuse me, are 23 and 2. So non playoff teams, essentially. Mm -hmm. But when they play teams above 500, they're 12 and 21. So losing record. So it ain't a hate versus them. I'm just going by what I see. And I'm looking at who they possible matchups is. So if the playoffs start today, they got to see Miami. And with the way Miami playing right now, this ain't the Miami you want to play right now because Jimmy Butler, he, you know how he eases into the season, and then once he, he at the All-Star break, he turned into Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets, and that's what I'm starting to see now. So if they got to play the Miami Heat in the first round, that's what I'm saying. And, and it could be Miami. It might be Indiana. Mm. That's what they're looking at right now. Mm. And who else? Let me, let me look at the stand. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, but, but Ticket, I, I kind of want to ask you how, do you, how do you feel about Paul's statement there? That Man, only, only, or only even Philly. They might have to see Philly listen, if, when, if, B, if MB come back. Philly don't look attractive right now because the big fella ain't there. Yeah, Everybody, but he gonna come back. Yeah, but he gonna come back and do what? I'm he just saying. Exactly. Listen to me too, Pete. Yeah. And what you cannot discount is that everybody thinking that bro is in an unbelievable rhythm. Bro, you miss two, three days from hooping, you're out of rhythm. It takes, it takes three months to get in shape. It takes three days to get out of shape. Real fucking shit, you hear me? So the fact that he's been out of basketball, we don't know what Joel's been doing. I'm not, yeah, I'm not yeah, uh, yeah. attesting that. What I'm saying is you can't just think that he's going to come back and they're going to be in the rhythm of where they are. And Philly's dropping, and I'm seeing teams like New York trying to gain confidence, regardless of what yeah, happened in the Piston but, game. Hey, New York hurt too now. They've been hurt. They've but that's, been what, hurt. that's what I'm saying. When you bring these pieces back with Bobanovich and – and 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 Rand and, Randall. and, 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 I, I, I and OG, who. you didn't even need big fella who had the ankle surgery. Who, um, what's the the center? My man, Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, he 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 done for the year. But bro, Randall, Bogey, and 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 and, and uh, Brunson, mm -hmm. they they legit. They, they scary legit. P. Yeah, they and is. nobody. They and, and, and you know what? They got the lead, they got the wave behind them. The league. I, I ain't seen the I league put this much into the Knicks. In so much time, I'm watching other platforms. I'm watching everybody. Everybody talking about the Knicks and what the Knicks and the Knicks and the Knicks. This other team's play, playing if, if better they than the Knicks. A, right, so they the way, bro. That's what I'm saying. If they got to play Indiana, are you confident? If they got to play Miami, that, that's what I'm saying. They gonna, it's going to be tough Listen, on them. They got a closer, and that's what you need in your team. You got to have a closer in the fourth quarter. Well, Brunson is tough. Listen to me. He's he, a closer, he, though. Look what he did in Dallas, yeah. and everybody's talked about, ah, uh, he went to New York, he doing a, he's a closer, Pete. Listen, Randall, he can dominate three quarters. He can dominate fourth quarter, too, but, bro, I like, I like, I like, the, I like the, uh, the, way they're, the way they look. Man, the Celtics, when you look at the Celtics, man, the Celtics solid seven. You like, ooh, you, you look right. like, yeah. That, that's what the Knicks are trying to create. You threw Bogey in there, and you got Randall back, Mitchell Robinson going to be in there. Uh, uh, what's my boy went, with playing in um, Detroit? Came back. Um, oh, no, the, Burks, Burks. Burks. He a, he a closer. You hear what, bro? No, they got some pieces. <laughs> they got some pieces. Put OG they in all there. They all gotta come together. They do, bro. <laughs> they all gotta come together. I got they, that. I'm just talking about what it yeah. looks like and the potential of what it's that like, can look you know, like. That's you just can't saying. just throw pieces together and nope. be like, look at these names and think it's gonna work out. Nope, nope. They got the names. They got the talent. But they need another year's seasoning. They need for me to believe that they can get out the first round based on where they are now compared to who they might have to play. They need another year to stir, the pot. stir that pot another year because you're dealing with injuries. You got guys in and out the lay, uh, lineup. You, you know all that work. You just don't come in and think you're just going to be running shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that chemistry. I mean, and they got to start now. You only got 20, uh, 20 games left. Yeah, less than 20. Like, oh, like oh, come on. 20, and then, 20. like, how many, how, how many games you need for all of these new pieces? I'm not even talking about the pieces they already had. Even these new pieces implementing them. So when Randall come back, it ain't going to be all this, what everybody think they going to do, been doing. OG come back, you know, everybody got to slide on back to the back of the line. Mm. And then they got to get back in shape. They got to get their rhythm, so they're going to be getting force-fed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they be playing a lot of minutes. It's, and we got to see how it works. One thing we're not thinking about is the, is, is, is the Knicks are a defensive team first. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the biggest scare here. They can stop teams, and they can also score the ball. So that's, that's what I'm saying here. So any, if, if you're going to contest the king of the hill and go, and go to the top of it, you got to have a defensive presence, and they have that. That's the scare yeah. here. That's the scare that scares the, uh, 
That's why we like the Knicks more than we like the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's why we like no, them like a little bit. I like Cleveland better this year now. No, you don't. You just, this year. You just, no. This year I do. You run the tape. Run the tape. No, you, you, this year. No, you no, was, they rolling right now. We was giving it up to Donovan Mitchell. They just lost to the, the fucking Wizards. They just to. lost to the Wizards. Didn't they just lose to the Wizards? Stop, man. Yeah, that's that. Like a crazy game winner last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, that's. And then they, they're not playing at that peak, bro. Donovan Mitchell is. Not Garland and not Mo, n- those pieces. They, 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 not enough to knock one of those off? That's, you feel what I'm saying? No, they number two in the East right now. So you would take the Cavs over the Knicks in the first round? No, I'm taking the Knicks, man. The Knicks seem to be a tougher, feel me? And this ain't, I ain't personal. I'm watching the, I'm watching the consistency. Cleveland learned from last year. They looking, they looking they like they a, got tougher. That run back, run it back. They're, they're running back. Uh, they're not going to see each other. So, se- so, so seven game series, you taking the Cavs over, uh, over the Knicks? This year. I am this year. I like what I'm seeing from Donovan. Struce been a great pickup. Great pickup. He cracking, by the way. <laughs> he cracking. Struce. That's a Camus. That's hey, a Camus. Hey, hey. When they play, they play again? Hey. Yeah, let me look up. Cleveland, they're not going to play each other in the first round, though. No, I'm, I'm, He's no. the same regular season. I'm just saying, oh, regular I, season I, don't, next time I do not play? think Cleveland is tougher. Ooh. Sunday. Tough. Sunday. Ooh, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. 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 <laughs> Say word. Uh, <laughs> hey, we might need a live stream that at the crib now. You been wanting to get two flails, y'all. Come on, come on. Right. Come on. We go, Lord, we go, look, go. Listen, Randall ain't back yet, though. No, See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. OG See? Ain't back. Lord, they, don't, Lord, they don't want that. Man, man. And we don't even know if Randall coming back. Randall coming Is he? back. He, he coming, coming back? back? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with him? Shoulder? His shoulder? Shoulder. Damn. You know, when you holding it up, like, oh. Nah, that, ain't no, that ain't no joke, because yeah. my shoulder hurt right now, too. Straight up. <laughs> no, nah, real talk, I can't even do no pull-up right now. <laughs> my shoulder start hurting. I was doing pull-ups. Oh, man, that shoulder ain't no joke. Listen, I'm telling you, I don't want to call them fools gold, but I just, I don't know. I need to see more of consistency from mm-hmm. Garland, some of, them, some of them two and three options. I look at the Knicks. The Knicks is like an Instagram model. Here you go. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? Here. See, don't come Look, off I'll disrespectful, be on Instagram man. Stop. I'll be like, damn, she fine. Then you catch them in person, and you like, this you? You get them on the highlight? This you? You get them on the highlight? This you? You get them on the highlight? You get them on the highlight? Like, come on. I'm mean, like, <laughs> there's too many filters. It's two I'm different saying. things? It's two different it's things. It's reality versus digital? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They like an Instagram So what model. am I watching on TV then, P? The Instagram model. <laughs> <laughs> so if I go see it front row, I get to see <laughs> You see yeah. the playoffs, you go oh, see yeah, the real oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look up. <laughs> My <laughs> bad. <laughs> They ain't gonna have that. Shit. You ain't hey, shit. They got that fashion over You ain't shit. You ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I believe in the Knicks, dog. Right Listen, now. I ain't no Nick fan or none of that. I'm just calling how I see it. The Knicks, I'm seeing what the wave is, bro. They want the Knicks and Celtics, bro. You got the fashion over on right now. <laughs> Rip off. <laughs> you ain't shit. P ain't shit, yo. <laughs> Next thing I want to ask you guys about, Chris Paul oh, returns man. to the Warriors lineup on Tuesday night. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. Uh, kind of, They're in 10th place right now, but their season's kind of turned around. So the question I have for you guys, are they clicking at the right time, and is their title pursuit window still open? See, this is my theory when you talk the Warriors and the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't prove this, and I can be totally wrong, but... If the Lakers and the Warriors are not in the play-in, who's watching the play-in? They gonna be in the play-in. The play-in's cracking right now. The play-in, the, the play-in. Listen to me though. So right now, for years sh- past, they've always had LeBron in the play-in, and everybody's watched that. Real right, shit. Right. Clay too. You know what I'm saying? We we watch. I mean, uh, Steph too. They, we watch. You know what I'm saying? So my theory. Listen, two teams that I feel like is about to make some type of momentum shift. It's going to be the Golden State Warriors and the Lakers. So you think that one of them teams got a chance to do what Miami did last year? I think that they got the potential to, to go on the run. Are you, are like, you watching like how um, um, the Warriors look? The Warriors look different, P. Clay coming off the bench now. It seems like everybody, okay, this is our position. We're going with it. We're going with it. I'm just talking about the energy. I mean, yeah. They, you got to translate that. You got to translate that into wins now. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they, they start, they playing better. They playing better, but, but the, the pieces now, okay, it ain't Clay and Steph. It's, it's Steph 
it's, it's uh, uh, Kaminga, it's, it's, it's these other pieces. Okay, we okay, boom. Okay, now we got okay configuring. You know, it just it's just that with Golden State, they always during their championship years or they always carry the aura. You, you, you know, and I don't really see the aura, the and the fear factor that they. Not a fear factor. Yeah, now. not right now. Till you get in the ring. Till you right, get in that right. motherfucker. You in a seven game series and you, you, you. Yeah, let's right, say Soto. Right. You, you on KC. Season. And, and you see, and you see the little motherfuckers. Oh, you see Steph and all them. You see the motherfuckers over there. You like, yeah, that we gotta glow, beat them seven that, games. Yeah, that glow. That's what I'm saying, come, bro. You gotta the beat playoffs, them. You gotta yeah. beat the champions. These are ex champions. No you know how you no gotta doubt. knock the champion out. You gotta knock his ass out. Like, that's what these young, these young boys gonna have to do to the to the to the to the Golden States. To, to, the, to the Lakers, to the older, win-now kind of statesman teams that's kind of on the lower half, bro, them young boys going to have to, they're going to have to, look, this is how we get our respect. You know what I'm saying? We got to beat y'all in seven games. OKC is going to have to in beat a lot one of ways, teams. In a lot of ways. Minnesota's going to have to beat one of them the teams to get their respect. The State Warriors remind me, and the Lakers remind me of our 2010 team. We was older, you know what I'm saying? And mm. our regular season wasn't like that. Yeah, yeah. But when we got, got to, to the, the playoffs, playoffs we was looking old and slow versus these young teams. They was blowing by us out on the break, offensive rebounds, and that's what I see for the Lakers. But when you get them in, in the Golden State, when you get them in a playoff situation now, when the game slowed seven down, games slowed and down. Then you got the tape, and then you got the scouting, so, and you sit down and you focus on that one team with the IQs that's in them two locker rooms. Right, it's over. It's, it's going to be a problem. It's an even matchup now. You know, so now that's why I say if they both make the playoffs, that Scary. I ain't confident in those teams at the top right now in Minnesota, OKC. I don't think neither one of those teams can beat Denver, though. They got to try to avoid Denver at all costs yeah. in the first round. Because Denver's kind of that mid-tier older, not not older, but mid-tier. I mean, they, they, the they, the they got the mature. Well, they the champs, but they got a mature. But think about this, though. I'm not just saying they the champs, but... They have a mature aura about themselves on how to beat older teams like that. Exactly. And then they know how to beat younger teams that's right. up and running in the gun. You know right. what I'm saying? They got a good mix. So if they can, either one of them teams can get in. But listen, I'm going to tell you now, P, Minnesota and OKC and all these young teams going to have to go ahead and get their respects from an old head, straight up. Yeah. It's going to have to be a fade and they're going to have to lay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Gotta, right. Put the OG down. You know what I'm saying? You got to put it down. Yeah. In, in seven games. And, they, and if not, you're going to always be fighting against those. Real shit. Real yeah, shit. So the too. window for the, both them teams is this year. I think. Yeah. I now, think this now year. Now, they're the marathon, though. Minnesota and OKC are going to have to put pieces on what they already have and build what they have because you can't go backwards now. Mm -hmm. you're, you're first. Now, Minnesota is, is expected to be in this position and play like this and be like this and click like this every year now. So this yeah. is the precedent now. You setting this for yourself and, 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 and you know, your culture and shit. Ain't no, ain't no going down. This is right. all accelerating. You know what I'm saying? So right. let's see. Let's, let's see. see. But yeah. you're going to have to go through somebody real to get to it, bro. It's, uh, it's what it no is. No about that. Straight up. And you're going to get everybody's best. That's another thing. I bet OKC and Minnesota are getting everybody's best. That's what you get when you're number one. When you're at the top, everybody, man, you see a motherfucker. You watch film on him his last three games. He's looking like he getting here. This Bonner. Who got Bonner? <laughs> That you type know who shit. Creeping, bro, ain't nobody talking about the New Orleans Pelicans, bro. They is just creeping. They like, man, they, they creeping. They like Miami, bro. <laughs> they they ain't just no sitting nobody. around, ain't nobody talking about them. Right, but they, they, in the, they in the top six. Yeah, fifth seed as of today. Yeah, and ain't nobody talking about them. And they got depth, they got veterans, they got youth, they got young, they, they right there. To me, they they right there with Minnesota as far as talent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They right there with OKC when they as far as talent. Mm. Uh, they, somebody having, better watch out for them in the playoffs. You mean, up. you mean like having a bona fide superstar? They got a bona fide superstar Zion and Ingram. Ingram he, yeah. He's been an all star. Then you got scrappy OG, dogs. Scrappy dogs. You got OG CJ McCollum, right. who, who kind of keep that even kill, keep it all together. Yep. yep. He gives them balance. Yeah, and then you got them young boys who just yeah, out Earl. there flying, I like athletes. All of them. I love them. Yeah, they got like seven guys out there. Yeah, love. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They're they going to be a problem in the seven-game series. They got, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. Are. We need to start putting the notice on them. Uh, just going back to Clay, though. Five games off the bench, they're four and one in those games. <laughs> he's averaging 20, shooting 45% from three. So he's really bounced back. Right. Uh, accepting the role coming off. The Shout out to Clay, man. Listen, we said this, man. I, listen, shoot or shoot, score or score. You know what I'm saying? When you're a shooter, man, the first thing I heard a shooter say to me is I shoot that motherfucker. Make a miss. I'm, I'm shooting it. So 
you know, when you when you when you like that, man, and you got to believe that too. That's why you know. You know, you know what though? He, he, I think Clay, he's starting to wrap his mind around coming off the bench and accepting that role. New reality. That's tough as a player who's been a starter your whole life. Yeah. Is you just making that adjustment? That's a whole adjustment yeah, mentally. Coming off the bench. Bro. That's a whole. When you a starter your mm-hmm. old 10, 15 plus years, and you got to come hard. off the bench. That's a whole. It's hard. Attitude, mental adjustment, <clears throat> getting ready uh, before the game adjustment, mm-hmm. and he's wrapped his mind around that. He's embraced it. He's embraced it, mm-hmm. and, and that's why he's thriving. And I think with him coming off the coming off the bench, the Golden State Warriors just got deeper. Facts. That that quick. That, <laughs> that quick. quick. Cause your second. When you add Chris Paul to so what it. What I'm now? saying is your second your second player coming off the bench can't guard Clay most of the time, yeah. or he. You feel what I'm saying? Well, it ain't so traditional me guard you no more. It's matchups and shit. But what I'm saying is, Clay's now going against the, the, that team's second second uh, two guard. He's used to starting against the starter, right? Yeah. So now he's playing, coming off the bench again. I'm, I'm taking Clay in that in that matchup majority of the time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Most motherfuckers on the bench ain't even paying attention to the so game. You gotta chase him. You know what I'm saying? I'm in dead ass. The Golden State Warriors just became the highest IQ bench in the league. With just by doing that. But with him and Chris Paul. What do you add to that? Oh, yeah, that's right, because Chris Paul back. Yeah, he back. What's he look like, though? And what's his window? They don't They don't need Chris Paul to just be solid. Just run the team, get them in their sets, get Clay going. You know, that's going to be big. It's the IQ, though. That you, can't, you can't measure, you know, what a player brings. Uh, IQ wise, because mm-hmm. that's a whole other level of just understanding defense, understanding offense, understanding mm-hmm. who to get going. That's big when it comes playoff time, and they're going to need that. You playing Chris Paul in the fourth quarter? It depends on how it's going. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be all out there. It depends on who the team is. Like, if I'm playing OKC, all these young athletes, you don't want to have Chris Paul 35 plus, uh, Clay 30 plus. Uh, um, fourth quarter, though. These are your decision makers. Yeah, but they older. Four, five, they, five, 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 six but minutes. But, but, fourth quarter? Yeah, you lack, they don't lack that same defense intensity as older players as they once did. IQ comes before all that. Yeah, so you're not working harder, you're going. working smart at this right, point, right? Right, but you so, got to be able to defend. Yeah, you do. And everything's switching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's not traditional. I well. like them at the end of the game. I do. I do like all of them, especially, like you said, that I, like I said, IQ and yeah. decision making, but it just worries me how small uh, they go and their ability to defend with all them out there mm. at the end of games. And you're talking about a small ball? A small ball, It's hard yeah. to guard that way. Let me ask you something. With uh, Minnesota going big and everybody, you know, we, we kind of beat it up or whatever. Now it's working for them. They're number one in defense and shit. I'm noticing that Cleveland goes two bigs. Somebody else goes two bigs. I'm going blank. Hold on. Traditional. Hold on. Well, I'm saying this to say that. Is, that, is this the new wave? Celtics go bigs too sometimes. They'll have Horford and yeah. Porzingis. Listen, though, I watch the Kings with Sabonis, and sometimes they try to go Lyles, um, they try to go Sabonis Lyles, or they try to go, I forget the combination, but they play a lot of Sabonis being the big. Yeah. And then, um, what's my man from uh, Golden State? Uh, from your boy, um, went to North Carolina, dark skinned kid, play number 40. I'm going blank on his name. Harrison, Harrison Barnes. Barnes, Harrison yes. Barnes yeah. He'll go I'm to the sack. four. Now with that Minnesota Twin Towers, I'm noticing that now you're coming in with 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 two damn near two power fours or or two bigs. Is that the new wave? Just because they did it. But the thing is, the only reason they can do that is because one of the bigs can shoot threes and he can still spread the floor. Yes, and he's versatile. And then you got a yes. good big that can roll and finish yes. at the rim with the lob threat. Yes. So that's why that works. Yes. And the same for the Celtics when you got Horford and Porzingis, one of the bigs is both of them big shoot, three point shooters and they both can roll and finish. You know, roll into the basket. So it, it, you can't just have two bigs who do the same thing. And your four can defend. He can yeah. defend. He, what, what I'm saying, when they switch it, they they're not putting Rudy yeah. in everything. Right. Collins in everything. He can guard or guard to the guard. point where he can so center. It's got to be a perfect combination. Yeah, and you you just can't just be out here doing it, eh? Right. You can't just go out there doing it. You gotta, you gotta have bigs that can guard and yeah. shoot threes. Because Cleveland does that too. They have Mobley and big fella. Um, but they Jared best. Allen. Jared Allen. But they, who, they, who, yeah, they do that. But they best lineup is when they put Strauss at the four. Yeah, Strauss at the four makes. Because they can spread the court, the court for Donovan yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, like, yeah. end of the game, they had Struess at the four. Listen, I just, don't, I just don't, one, two, I don't think we've seen enough of Cleveland, too. That's another thing. We, I've, I've seen them, and then I'll see them on, like, a short, like, let's say I see, like, the next four games. Mobley be out two of those games. Yeah. Garland just came back. Like, it's, it's so many moving pieces. And then I watch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to watch the whole league like I watch it. Um... 
And then some teams ain't nobody healthy in the East. No. Well, nobody's healthy Except in collectively Celtics. consistency. Yeah. Even then they see. Milwaukee yeah. Middleton was yeah. in and out. Yeah. And Miami, gonna, I don't know who in and out. Yeah, listen. That's why I'm saying Celtics healthy. They're gonna walk through the East. I ain't gonna. No. <laughs> hell no. They're gonna walk through the no, East. I ain't gonna walk through it because you gonna. You know what you're not accounting for? No, you're not walking. No, you're tripping. Watch out. No. <laughs> the Bucks are playing better since, since Bucks the playing better. They didn't, They've really been turning it around. T- say it again, Nate. The Bucks are turning it around. I told you, around. P. They won three in a row, keeping their opponents they, under 100. Come in, P. They started yeah. with the defensive effort. Their defensive no, effort is different. Defense. Look at Dame. I saw Dame. Dame was not only getting through the pick, but he was pursuing. Like, like bro, I'm, see, I'm watching the energy. I'm watching it. This is second half energy on defense. Damn, who they blew out? They blew out man, Charlotte. Man, they blew. They blew a couple teams man, out. They blew out Charlotte. Charlotte by, they was up by like fifty. And they point. beat Minnesota at Minnesota. And the Sixers. Too. And the Sixers. I mean, Sixers ain't healthy right now, but that's nah, a but good win. Them is all. No, nah, them is all. A, them y'all, is good wins. Them is good a, wins. Solids. And, that's and, all I'm saying. And, you know, after All Star break, you got to start putting together some good wins. Some like. You know, you're gonna start having games where it's gonna resemble what the playoffs is gonna be like. You know, you're gonna mark them games like, and you gotta start putting together them wins because when you get to the playoffs with some of these teams, it give you a, a different psyche when you know you can beat them. Come and, March, the Bucks have a lot of opponents that are in the playoff seating, mm-hmm. like top five on each conference. It's gonna be good for them. It's great for them. It's great them. test for them. Yes, sir. But we don't know who's who they your are. sleeper in the East. Give me your sleeper. We do a sleeper every week. Let me just, you know, who's your sleeper, sleeper in, the in the East? What you mean to do what? Sleeper. To be better than sleeper. What, what people think they're going to be? Sleeper. Nigga sleeping. Right now, Eric sleep. He sleep, he sleep on the side. Mm. All right, my sleeper is Orlando. Took my sleeper. <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Oh, bitch ass nigga. You ain't shit. P ain't shit. Uh, they the biggest sleeper, though. Uh, nigga. The Wagners. I told you. No, 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 no. Oh, oh yeah. Is Paolo underrated to you? You don't think no, he, he get enough? No, he's not underrated. He yeah, made he, the All-Star game I, the I, second year. Well, I get it, but Lord, he he hit a lot of cl- he hit a lot of clutch threes. I don't know if you watch a lot of Magic games, but bro, he hit the he hit the three to tie it up, three to put him up. He I don't he he's next. He's next, bro. He got a quiet game and he's kind of you know what I'm saying? You know, light voice speaks like that. You never really say it with nah, his motherfucking chest yet. He ain't got nah, that man's voice he yet. Got, he ain't got you know what I'm saying? Man. Right. Nah, say it with your chest, young fella. He wants some smoke. Yeah, he, he do. Talk, he was talking to somebody. Yeah, I, like, I love Paolo. Yeah, I, I like young fella. I like, I like young fella. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I like he, young he, Esco. He, 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 you know cool. what I'm saying? I call him young Esco. I'll be fucking his name. He's going to be a superstar. Funny thing about Paolo. So he hits the game winner on Saturday against Detroit. Next night, they play Atlanta. He was out with an illness. Back to back. Oh, he was in the line of Sunday break net. Oh, you know what it is? He went out. He went. He went to go get some. It's the A, baby. It's the A, baby. No, no, no. He went. He went to go. He went to go get him some lemon pepper, pepper wings. Hey, right. how that Lou? lemon pepper lose, huh? Lou got Lou. <laughs> Lou should really. Hey, Lou, if you listening, Lou, hey, do Lou. a do a podcast in Magic City while eating wings, talking basketball. Me and Pierre pull up. How <laughs> we pulling up? We pulling up. I know Truth Lounge coming down. I'll pull up for that, though. You know what hey, I'm saying? I need me some lemon pepper loose. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want Thick Stacy behind me, too, doing that little thing she be doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just chopping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lunchtime shit. You know what I'm saying? Holler at me. Yeah. Next thing I want to ask you guys about, are we underestimating how good the Thunder are this season? I'm going to name some, some head-to-head games they have. They're 3-1 and one against the Nuggets. They're two and one against the Clippers. They're three and one against Golden State. Two and zero oh against Cleveland. One and zero oh against Boston. They've already exceeded their win total from last year. They have a solid core of J Dub, Chet, and SGA. Um, you guys keep speaking to they could get upset in the first round with one of the veteran teams, but are we underestimating uh, the Thunder this season? I don't think we underestimate them, and I ain't say they're gonna get upset. I I, I know Pete talking that shit. I'm talking these young boys won't smoke. And all this press and all this build up, guess who's creating it? They are. All this, all this that we love and oh my God, everybody's on the OKC wagon and shit. Man, guess who's creating that? They are. Another thing I actually thought that was ironic, just hear this out. You know what's crazy? When Westbrook was there, he was not only MVP, but always considered an MVP, right? But he was also NBA's best dress. Now all of a sudden they got another swagalicious point guard who is probably arguably NBA's best dress, but he's also probably a league MVP. That's ironic. Yeah, pull up in a cyber truck uh, last night, pretty cool. <laughs> Come on, I man. don't think we underestimate <laughs> OKC, but 
Shay a rock star, yo. They really, he's just giving off rock star shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. They After young. He won in back-to-back season. And was first team All-NBA last year. And by all accounts right now, he's a you first know? team All-NBA guard. No, right we ain't underestimating OKC. But at the same time, it's more teams out there that got more experience when the bright lights come on. They a small market team. You know, they don't they ain't really had a lot of big TV games. So now put them in a playoff setting. They gotta get seasoned, man. It's just I'm not as good as they've been regular season, as good as they got an MVP player, they got great young pieces. It's not to underestimate them, it's that we ain't seen it on the big stage yet. You know, they doing they act over here at the comedy store, at the uh, at the laugh factory, you know, they you know, when you make it big, you, you go to the Staples and perform your act on stage. And when they ain't been on that big stage yet, so, you know, as good as they've been in these other places, we got to see it when the, when the lights come on. That's when you want to see it. So if these, if, so if they the number one seed and they don't make it to the conference finals, then what's that saying? I mean, should have, could have, would have, though, right? We, that's the big if question. You're the number mark, right? one seed, that's pretty much, a, you're supposed to be a favorite to go to the conference finals at least. Yeah. I'm not even sure they a favorite right now. OKC okay, ain't a favorite in the world. I'm not even sure. Even they, they got probably the second, third best record in the league. They not even a top five favorite in Vegas right now to win it. Well, I ain't picking Vegas Seven to know. Well, That's saying, what I'm saying. I, well, what I'm saying is I ain't picking I Vegas to know who the fuck gonna win it. Hey, Vegas is crazy. They got yeah. a crystal ball. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I, ain't saying, I ain't going off Vegas to pick who the fuck gonna win the NBA champ. That's what I'm saying. OKC is up there with Minnesota, the Celtics. They, they are up there with the yeah. top five. That's what I'm saying. So everybody got the same equal opportunity to get there, right? What I'm saying here is, is that do you have the pieces to get through them pieces? You I think got, they got to grow a little more together. They got to grow, but, bro, guess where you get your, guess where you get your, uh, your stripes at? In the playoffs. In the laugh factory. Then you, can't right. go, you can't go do 50, 80,000 unless you went to the laugh factory and made right. 12, 10, 15, 20, right. 25,000 laugh. <laughs> right, and right. then they'll boo your ass in the laugh factory. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> they, they, so right you got to build right that. Right now they have the laugh factory, nah, the improv. They, and they're they getting money. And everybody's right, showing up. Right. And they're <laughs> laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're getting ready, Lord. They, they get gotta, ready for gotta, the big stage, bro. We gotta see if they gonna make it to the to the. Man, listen. The, uh, man, what's, uh, the big, what's the big stage? Uh, Netflix excuse studios. Me. Man, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the OKC Thunder. <sighs> Shane gonna, gonna be like this. Da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun. He gonna look over here and check on me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck you talking about, Lord? You tri- right? Got big J Dub on the drums. Right? <laughs> the fuck, P? Shit. Uh, Man, listen, listen, bro. This is what you're not accounting for. Boy, these young boys won't smoke. We gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see. They want to smoke. They do want to smoke. I ain't gonna lie. Call like, okay, you gonna. Man, are you watching? Man, you ain't watching. I'm Boy, watching. these young boys want it. They do want smoke. Y'all talking that they shit. LG, we want nah, these niggas, man. Well, they want Bring smoke. Up. We they, want that. Yeah. They do want smoke. They want it. We That's what I'm it. saying. I gotta see it. Shay Alexander want it. Yeah, you do. That's what I'm saying. We got to see it, though. That's what, yeah. Yeah, we got to see it. And it look good. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, the fact that we know these teams coming in here, man, can y'all beat up? Man, yeah. Yeah, we can. We finna show y'all. So, All we right, finna sit see. back, get the popcorn. And, right. That's what I love All about right. this playoff. Man. That's the start of building something. When you have been to the playoffs and the team hasn't, you come in there like, yeah, these young motherfuckers. That's how we went in Atlanta. We played Atlanta. We had all this confidence. We playing Atlanta. And we got to Atlanta, and guess what? We saw a whole new team with a whole new energy of, of, of saying, yeah, we finna beat the Celtics. And guess what? Them niggas came out there, and they beat us. Not one time, back to back. And we, listen, the second day on the flight home, it wasn't cool. Everybody was like this, like, damn, are we finna? Oh, no, we, no, hell no. We, t- we had to be on right. some, like, no, we finna lose to the, we had to be on that. So, yeah, I'm saying this to say that you getting everybody's best, and if OKC now, is going to go to anything, they're going to have yeah. to go through somebody. So now, Ain't no weak links in none of this. That's all I'm saying. But now they got to understand what being in this position is about. Because you go from a team who was up and coming. Nobody's talking about. Nobody talking about. You were the hunter. You it. You, you it. Now when you start winning games and you beating people on TV and you the number one seed, you're going to be hunted now. 
That's why you picking the seeds, because you feel like the seeds has been through this. They've been group. through that. They not been through the grind and I got yeah. here. They not got back up. They back on it. They feel some type of way. They done hunt it. Yeah, yeah. So but, now they gonna come in. Oh, this the number one seed. So I see Teams is saying. looking forward to that's that. That's what you said. So that's now what you they got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They gotta prepare for that mentality. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's a different mentality. When you that team, like mm. we the hunter and the hunted. This is two different mentalities on the team. Because when you being hunted, you gonna get everybody best now. You're going to get everybody best. And to me, P, that's what separates the Celtics as a young team of yeah. the future with all the other Minnesotas, the OKCs, the Indianas. That's the difference. These boys been to the finals. They got yeah. beat. For the o, you know what I'm saying? That, and then the Miami series, all that shit, right? And then you play these other teams that's fresh right there. I see, I see, I see what you said. Yeah, you, they go from a team that ain't won it. Celtics ain't won it, but they the hunted. But, they, but they, what I'm saying, they've they the been in like right four or five situations where you, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Listen, no team want to see Braun. Unless you Denver, because you got just as equal star power, you don't want to see Braun. What about Phoenix? Would they want to see Braun? No. Uh, yeah. Nobody want to see Braun. <laughs> Braun come with the lead. Get you foul troubles and all this. That's what I'm saying. If I'm Anthony Davis, man, see it. Man, you post, man, you, that, 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 man, I'll be using that. You know what I'm saying? Like a player that can get y'all in the bonus and get, you know, calls and stuff like yeah. this, even though the Lakers are struggling right now, talking about they didn't get no calls and they didn't get no calls and other stuff. But, man, they, man, you don't want to be in no series against Bron. Feel me? No, when the game nah. slow down, no. Nah. Steph either. This pace is too much for the older teams. Not even that. I mean, you, the, the pace, dog. it's 100. Everybody's averaging 115 points. Yeah, and 10 like, years ago, it was 101 yeah, points. Yeah, like, that's, that pace is too much for the regular season for older teams to get through. Like I said, Bron and Steph just got to make it to the playoffs. And everything gets calmer. Yeah, everything get, you know, it, it ain't, the it, lights come on. Right. Everything get magnified. Brighter. Everything's brighter. Sure, and don't get no distractions in your locker room. That shit. Don't, don't get that. Yeah, <clears throat> Older that. teams know how to handle that. These young teams, you know, you don't know how they're going to handle all that stuff. It's a lot of components that come with, you know, being, going through a playoff run. You know, distractions, family, yeah. on the road. I like what know. I see out of those two young teams, though. I love Minnesota's grit, and I love OKC's grit, and it's going to be dope to see those teams get better and also grow from experience and grow from um, – you know, playoff experience and stuff. So who your sleeper team in the West? Uh, my sleeper team in the West, uh, keep, keeping it 100, is uh, Phoenix. I feel like Phoenix is kind of... Damn, under- so a team with Durant on it is a sleeper team? Yeah, bro, because think That's about That's crazy. Thing. Think about But this. I'm saying... What, and they fall. No, but, and like, they can, like, they can, no, but they, my thing is this, though. We put Bron on such a pedestal when Bron losing and he went in, it's just like, it's, it's magnified. I was going to say. Why we that, don't put KD in that same class? Or, or, or you know what I'm saying? Why we don't, you know, like when KD is like, how is a KD led team a sleeper team? You know what I'm saying though? If we look at them like that, I got the Kings and the Phoenix Suns as the sleepers in the West because no one talks about the Kings. Just get utterly disrespectful. I mean, disrespected. Like the Kings have a body of work that you can throw in here with everybody else with the function of everything else. They've had some players do some dope shit this morning. I mean, do some dope shit this season. And um, uh, throughout the year, uh, throughout this year, Sabonis, uh, their stars have been real stars. The other night I watched uh, De'Aaron Fox uh, get pissed and take the game over. I don't know if you saw that, but the motherfucker went crazy. I forget who they was playing. He's playing somebody. Yeah. The Clipper game. He took the Clipper game over. Did get the foul, came down, went crazy. That's yeah, what I'm saying. They, they, they're the biggest... Disrespected team in the league to me. Well, you the gotta earn respect. Well, the Kings. I, I'm just. I gotta I'm earn throwing, respect. They I'm, got, throwing, I'm saying disrespected because they. Don't, they, they, they as they, a higher seed last year, they got popped in oh, the first man. round, right? But they should have had an All Star though, right? They should have had an All Star. Okay, I give you that. Man, with the body of work that everybody yeah, else. Yeah, no giving, doubt, no doubt. They are disrespected. So, so that's what I'm saying. They so are disrespected. They are the sleepers to me. You All go right. in there thinking this sweet shit. Man, Sac yeah. is one of them, t- one of them cities, one of them teams where they got dogs on the team where you yeah. nah. So I'm saying, and then too, I'm saying a team like Phoenix hasn't showed the consistency in being a top dog. So, yeah. you know, Bradley Bill, his inconsistency and in being in and out has fucked up the whole fluctuation of of the Suns because when when Katie and Book 
uh, got to go into, okay, you consolidate, I consolidate. Okay, we got to, it looks like they got to actually make up for his absence. When he's yeah. in there, it flows like a wheel. You see the real Devin Booker coming off. Ha, ha, he might have something 30 at halftime and have 40, 50 for the game. That, that's what we're looking for. When you got Devin Booker got to consolidate and find Grayson Allen and find yeah. KD, yeah, you, 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 you ain't even got a, you ain't got a weapon. You, your we- one of your weapons ain't even set to, 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 be, in the, to be in this equation. That's all mm-hmm. I'm saying. Feels 19-11 when he's in the lineup. That's what I'm saying, like bro. They, and that's an inconsistency that nobody can really look at Phoenix and put bread on. You can't, you can't lie. You, you look at their pieces on paper, you're like, oh, yeah, I've been on this all day. And then you see them out there, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, oh, oh. You look at it, you're like, man, I don't know if I want to put bread on that. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, what about your sleeper sleeper in the West? In the West. My sleeper in the West. I ain't getting no sleeper in the East. But no, we said Orlando. Orlando. No, we said yeah, Orlando. Yeah, 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 Orlando. So my sleeper in the West, meaning that this team can lose in the first round or get to the conference finals. No, that's a wild card. I'm talking about sleeper. Ain't nobody looking at motherfucker don't think they going to do shit. Oh, I said my sleeper is New Orleans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. New Orleans my sleeper. And they a real sleeper, too. Yeah, yeah. At what, 5-8? Yeah, they're in the fifth season. Yeah, they, they my sleeper. I like that one. All right, I want to kind of switch gears here. Ricky Rubio recently did a, um, an interview, and he spoke about his mental health struggles in the league. He recently retired from the NBA. And his quote kind of stuck out to me, and I want to ask you guys about it. He said, the player ate the person. Mm, so the uh, question I have for you guys is, how that. hard is it to separate your NBA career from the person at home? Is it tough to balance kind of your on-court life versus your on-home life, and how do they kind of intermingle? Not for me. You know, I like to think that, um, and then, you know, P's a real friend, so, you know, I got real friends around me that, you know, if I'm out of character for something, you know, they're, they're the first ones to notice or to be able to say something to me. Um, also family. Um, but for the most part, people know that when I am or when I worked out or when, we, when, when I was playing and I was training and I was locked in, I like to think that I was the definition of locked in. I, have, I had two systems. And when I played, it was one system and when I wasn't playing, it was another. And I came up with these two systems just off of what I needed to be both. Pia tell you, when you are training, you are a complete machine and then you in an animal mode. And it's at 100% and it's coming at a thousand like horsepower of a magnitude like on some Mack truck shit. Like I can't even explain the intensity in which these workouts because you're doing early morning shit. You know what it takes to get up early morning and go dominate something? You have to have that in you program, right? And then you, and when you start you know, attacking weights and you start bettering yourself with explosion and stuff, bro, all this takes on like a beast in you. Like when I watch the Hulk, I understand the Hulk. But also when I'm off the, when I'm off the court, P, I tell you, I'm, I'm a lot loose, chill. I like to laugh. I like to be funny. I'm super duper not the guy that, that you just walked off the court with. You know, I'm totally opposite in my everyday life. Yeah, and um, I think that you got to have the two. Uh, it's very important to have a fucking balance with the two, and I gotta say this: they teach you how to turn the Hulk on, but no one teaches you how to turn the Hulk off. And turning the Hulk off is a real thing, and having that competitive energy to go somewhere is a real thing. And if you don't know how to handle it, because people know you for what you do on the floor. People don't notice this more softer, more calmer you over here. So when people see you in a calm setting like this, they, they almost shock like, KG, you ain't growling and you ain't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's how people see you. But you have to have a balance. And if you don't have a balance, one can't actually eat the other, if I'm being honest. And I also think that we are in an era to where everything is more magnified and more more talked about more mm-hmm. than ever. Yeah. And, and so and what I mean by that, like let's just take like, you know, what you're doing. Now we talking about Rubio. Yes, sir. He's he's in retirement. He's talking about dealing with with uh anxiety. Anxiety, anxiety and stuff like that. that yeah. And I think a lot of that's been common for a lot of people who've been in the limelight who go into retirement because now you you're in a whole different lifestyle because you've been waking up used to doing this. And now you home and you gotta learn uh, a, a, a new pattern, a, a new pattern, a whole new, a new, pattern, a, a whole new, new routine, lifestyle, a whole new lifestyle, exactly. Right. And then you got social media on top of that. Mm. 
Uh, what you doing? Where you at? We ain't seen you. Here come all, the pressure. All, all of that. What's next? And, and so I think we're at a time and an era to where the depression, anxiety, all those things are amplified because of the eyes on us, the cameras on us, the mm. social media, the pressure from from family, friends, right. kids. Right. Everything is way more magnified now. Like. You know, if you go from an NBA star, you home with your kids, and now you seeing your your daughter all on Instagram doing stuff she probably not supposed to do. You know that can stress a father. There's so many, so many layers in the off the court in, in today's society that you don't see when you playing. When you start, when you go home in retirement, you start seeing stuff, right? Because you miss out on so many things at home, and it can lead to a lot of depression. You know, a lot of times you, you like you missing what you've been doing and an adjustment to life after basketball. A lot of people deal with depression in that, just dealing with life after basketball, because now it get real. Right. You know, life get real now. Doc used to always say, and I never say, he said, guys, we live, this is not real. Right. He used to always say, this living life, this is, we live in the fantasy world. Y'all yeah. enjoy this. Y'all don't even know what real life really is. Once real life smack you in your face and you start really seeing it, man, you that like, part. damn. That part. That part. And that's the part they don't teach you that transition or show you that transition or put people in place to help you with those transitions right. when you come in. It can be any field. Right. It can be, you know, whatever your profession is and you on camera and you in the limelight from being actor. You see it with actors, actresses, sports athletes right. all around the industry when that when it's taken away from you or when it's finally gone, that transition. You know, who's your mentors? Who are you talking to? Who are you... Uh, surrounding yourself with to make that transition. So what I will say is he retired from the NBA, he took a little hiatus, and then he just recently signed with FC Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So he's basically going home. Trying to go back. <clears throat> yes, but he retired from the NBA and he opened right. up about his mental health struggles while he was in the league, mm -hmm. about we had just discussed. Well, that, that, that transition Pete talking about is a dark transition too. Because mm -hmm. you know what happens? When you can't do for everybody you've been doing for, Everybody leaves, and you look up and you, you by stop. yourself, <laughs> yeah. and all this whole shit stops. And everybody you've been a, a, B, and C, and when A, B, C, and stops, so do them. And you're by yourself. And for a lot of people, it's a shell shock. And keeping it 100, man, when all the claps and all the screams and all the rah rah stop, and you and you land in, I can still play. I can. Some people, some, some athletes need that some some people need the rah-rah some people need the. And then it's hard when you play it's hard, it's hard to, to turn open, it it's hard to open up when you plan because when you looked at on a pedestal you know people expect you to be strong you know what i'm saying in ricky rubio case and that's why you know now that he's not <clears throat> on the top stage in the nba and he's away from the nba stage it's easier for him to kind of like Speak his peace, speak yeah. his truth. Because you're out of it. Yeah. Ain't in it. But when you're in it, it's hard. You, you expect it to be strong, head of the family, head of the household, head of this. And you're not supposed to be looked upon as somebody who's vulnerable. Right. And the reality part of it, motherfuckers is human, yo. Right. Motherfuckers is human. You don't think we feel, you don't think we got emotions, you don't think we have. Man, motherfucker, man, y'all have no idea. Professional athletes every day got probably 50 things they're, they're battling that they got nothing to do with them. Because everybody sees them as a god or someone that can actually help them or change their reality. And some of these athletes ain't even conditioned to even deal with, nor, nor even have this. You understand? We ain't asked for all of this. You know what I'm saying? But you get, you get put in situations where you got to, like Pete said, be the strong one or be the bigger person or be the person to be able to help somebody out of this. You know what I'm saying? Man, we are human beings. We make mistakes. We hit our heads. Motherfuckers trip and fall, we bump our knees like y'all, every, every fucking thing. It's the same shit. We got kids, the whole shit. So we're not immune to anything. If anything, it was magnified a thousand times because mm -hmm. people think you God and some of the things they're not seeing you do and, you know, you survive in A, B, and C. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, shout to Rick Rude, man. I hope he figured it out. And uh, I'm going to say this, man. Mental health has always been around. It's just how we all chose yeah. to deal with it and how we all chose to battle something. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit, man. Yo, yo, you don't think motherfuckers came into the league or was in the league and doubted something or had a point where they wasn't as as confident or whatever, whatever? Hell yeah, hell yeah. But one thing you didn't do, you never showed it. And I like to think that a lot of people was masking it and and, and however they masked it. Yeah. 
And this is when you get sobriety problems. This is when you get all the other problems, all the vice problems and shit, because no one teaches you how to deal with this. I like to think that the league, actually, when we came into the league, the league started giving us programs and, and giving us a chance to talk to the OGs when they come in and give us solutions and shit. Man, no solutions help. To sit here and talk to a guy who was married when we weren't married, or to talk about relationships, or to talk about money, or to talk about stuff that we was going through, but we were sitting here listening, man, said a lot to me mm -hmm. as the listener. And that's the person that was absorbing. You got to have these solutions and you got to have these conversations so that people can pull from those things and right. actually help themselves. Right, right. Good stuff, guys. Thank that you. Is, that, was that was good. good. Yeah. Shout out to Rick Rude, man. Keep going, Rude. Uh, next thing I want to I wanna talk to you guys about, uh, Ticket, you brought this to, to our attention. Uh, Jonathan Gavoni, he's a draft analyst, uh, released a stat that stated nearly half of the 2020 and 2021 top 40 are no longer with the team that drafted them. That's scary. So are NBA teams impatient, or is this a youth basketball development problem in America? I think it's a combination of both. You understand? For players that were drafted three, four years ago, not being in the league? Or that, with the team that drafted them, so the team gave up on them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's say 100 players came into the league, 40 uh, 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 forty players are now on a whole different wave, or... That's scary. That's scary. Not only, not only are those um, unguarantees, but those are teams just sitting here looking at oh, and then getting off it. Like, I hope I hope today's players understand the importance of character, work ethic, vision, how you work with others. Like, like teams ain't fucking around. If 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 if, they, if you're not like some upper echelon talent and you're not like breaking barriers and shit, man. Teams looking at you like, we can get another one of you. Right. Okay, we get, and, right. and, and you, you're looking more expendable these days. So have something of your superpower that, you know, can't be, can't be, you know, can't be duplicated to the best of your knowledge or come up with something that, that's yours and own it. Because if not, man, if you, if you don't have a superpower that's adamant and proprietary to you, bro, you're going to be in some shit, real shit. Think about the league. The league think they got everything in it, right? Until they see something they don't have. So you got to come in with an attitude like, boom, this is how I'm going to stay here, and this is going to be my foundation, and this is what's going to ride. This is what I'm riding into the sunset with. Man, 40, man, that's scary. So Wait, this is, this is listen, listen to the it. top 40 players. So this isn't even late second round, guys. This is the top 30 and then 10 of the second round. So we're not even talking wow. about 41 through 60. You hear me? So from what year? From 2020 to 2021, both of those draft classes. And how many, you said 40 of them out? 40% of them gone or either on yeah, another team. Let go, let go by the team that drafted like, them? Or like, no they didn't even give you one or two years to get it together. They all, no, nah, gone. Here, take the bread, get out. Gone. Okay, next. And then he asked, you know, Damn. Is, it, is, it, is, is that formula like a formula to where you can actually sustain? Or, or is the league realistic in that ability? Well, first off, you got to let things, you got to let things um, mature, and you got to let things be in the process to where you'll see good bones. When Shea Alexander probably worked out, I'm sure he wasn't doing all the things he was doing now, but it was something to where somebody said, oh, yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah that, I, I can use that. So it's got to be something in you that the team sees. Now, if you're not consistent with that, a lot of so times... A lot of times, teams see you every day and see your consistency, and then they like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the big, the big question mark on Wiseman. Wiseman was supposed to be with Kaminga and this group that's in Golden right. State. That, mm -hmm. that was supposed to be there. The fact that you moved him and traded him made everybody think, like, what's going on? Why would you do that? So then what? So that begs to tell me, uh, and I know... You know, so many times we say the players are better today. How could that be if so many of these top picks is ending up out the league? Or, like he said, in, in, 30, in three to four years, 40% of the first round of the people drafted not are even in not league. even in the league. Or with the team that drafted them. Yeah. Like, right, so how like is Marvin that? Bagley and Wiseman are within that. Yeah. That's that's Can't that. make it through the first contract yet on the one team as a top three, four pick. I didn't say these kids are better. But I said that these kids are doing things. But a lot do. of times we drafting off potential. All of these, it's, we're but, drafting and that's your fault. 
So the potential. <laughs> KG started this. I'll take that. I'll, I'll put that on. Because it's <laughs> also why you're taking me. It's also why you love me. It's also why you, you invested in me. So it goes both ways with potential. You, yeah. I, I, if, okay, I showed him something. Now I got to be consistent with whatever I showed. If I don't show that, then you get off it, right? I'll tell you what it is. That's anything. I'm going to tell you what That's it is. That's anything. If That's, you got a car. This is what everybody's looking for, that next Kevin Garnett, that next Tracy McGrady potential where you can just see he's going to fill out that next Giannis. Instead of sometimes you got to put some stock in these guys that have been in college three years, mm. four years, that understand a role. Because mm. some of that stuff in college, defense in college translates to the NBA. Mm. Whoever that defensive player of the year, that trans in college, that translates mm. to the NBA. Because every defensive player of the year or top defender that was in college, he was that in the league. Mm. So we got to start, scouts, GMs, you got to start putting more stock into not only overseas, because you know what the overseas players are doing in the league. No, they're but doing these that. three, four year players, sometimes you got to use some of these picks to this guy who's in his junior year or senior year, but he's dominated. Stephen Dame are two that come to mind to me. That's what I'm saying. That's an older generation. Now that player has been ousted by the European player. Yeah. You know yeah. why? Because the European player knows how to play basketball. He knows how to pick and roll. He knows IQ. He has IQ. All that shit. It ain't, it ain't, I think the American players think it's about ones and being able to go ones, bro. It's, it's just that. It's that we always look at. We be, uh, we'll be with the 30th pick and be like, all right, or on the 29th pick, and we're like, let's get this kid. He's 6'8". He can jump out the gym. He can't shoot a lick. He, he can't really dribble, but we can teach him that in three years. He's going to get stronger. Then instead of going for that guy in college, like, man, he's a high-level defender, and he can knock down threes. He's 22, but that's the dude you can drive and play a role right away. But they always trying to go for the home run, and so that's why you see all these players who in and out the league because they drafting all these potential. And then it's going to make those players that, 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 that are the players we're talking about it's gonna be it's gonna be a times ten, because those players are gonna be valued even more then. But yeah, we're in trouble, man. And you know what? I see I see all this unfinished product going to the G League and being able to develop. The league is gonna have to, uh, all these all these players that's going to other places had a superpower or had some type of potential to be able to get the opportunity to either be drafted or even be in the room, right? That. That is not going to go unnoticed on all leagues. Some of that talent's going to end up in the G League. Some of that talent's going to end up back in the league. Some of that talent's going to end up other places. But I do not think that you just get off one or two years. Nah, nah, nah. It, I there mean, was a point where the number one or two pick was a surefire all-star. Facts, facts. <laughs> or in one or two years, he, he, he or she was going to be an all-star. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. All right, let's get to some game picks. Let's get to the game picks of the week. How I do last week? Two and one for you, KG. Three and zero oh for you. KG. Oh yeah, that sound about right. Right, you was about to say some whoop shit. Right? I, I, I'm, I'm still up. I'm on. still up. I'm up. Hold on, that sound about right. I'm up. You went like over. You got a you got a two game lead right here. You know how I get when he, they get he was the like over for like two weeks though, dog. Well, I heat up door toward the playoffs. I don't want to hear that shit. Football playoffs. That's what I'm that's saying. The, I heat up game door toward parlay. the playoffs. Just bullshit, man. He get the one I game. I heat up in the playoffs, baby. Want to hear that shit? Get the one game hero shot. All right, let's go Saturday. Saturday! Uh, we just talked about this earlier. The get back. The Nuggets Ooh, yeah. at Lakers. Yeah, the Who get do we back. Got? You got the Nuggets at Lakers? Yes, sir. Who you got, P? Nuggets at Lakers. I don't, the like, get the, back. I don't like the way Lakers been looking lately. Yeah, and Lakers Denver, like they, they like, all right, this second half of the season, guys. <laughs> it's starting to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> and Joker, when I seen him go out there, he gave, he gave Draymond like, 36, 16, and 16? I was like, hold on. You know, uh, Draymond, elite defender. If he doing that, what you think he going to do to the legs? Yeah. Nah, we going Denver on this one, player. Yeah, yeah I got Denver, too. <laughs> and uh, I got Joker as the MVP. No one's playing at a higher clip. I think Luka may be second and Shea, Shea might be second and third, but I got Shea second, actually. But <clears throat> what Joker's doing in our league, not even athletic, he, he jumps probably this high, right? He, like, what he's doing in our league is just he, he's ripping, he's ripping the, he's ripping the, <laughs> the records apart. I think, P, they showed a stat where he's had a triple double on every team in the league. Damn, <laughs> for real? That's cold. That's cold, bro. He, bro, right now, Joker's more dominant than Will Chamberlain right now. Lord. Damn. 
They got they got some niggas taking him over Shaq. They got they got they, they got what? motherfuckers taking Joker over Will or Shaq. Nah. I mean, he's 29. I'll just read his resume right now. Six-time All-Star, NBA champ, five-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, Finals MVP. He's not even 30 years old. Yeah. I mean, I just think in the center <laughs> error, man, y'all are y'all are blow if y'all are thinking real. I'm taking Joker. Over Shaq. I, I love you. I love Nicole. Uh, straight up. What he's doing is unprecedented. It's about this time now and this yeah. time. That's I'm not doing that compared to listen. What he's doing is unbelievable. Real shit. Yeah. I'm talking about it's usually just, you don't have, have to be have, athletically enough. It ain't nobody who can really match up with him. Like just a three-time champ by the same age. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. But yeah. you know, Shaq wasn't shooting three, Shaq won. Diamond the motherfucker behind the back. You know what I'm saying? Like what what Joker is doing to the game, bro. Bro, he's bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got both got the nuggets in this yeah, one. Yeah, we got the nuggets in this one. And I'm worried about are you worried about the Lakers? I mean the Lakers are who I thought they were. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, let's go Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. It's the ABC get on. We got the Warriors Ooh. going into Boston to face the Celtics. Ooh. Two teams playing really well right now. Ooh. Ooh. This in Boston, though, right? Yes, sir. Who what you got, this? P? In. Sunday. I don't want to hear. I'm going to try to get to that. I don't want to hear that shit. Who you taking, man? I don't want to hear that shit. Who you taking, man? I don't want to hear that shit. This <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> nah, I got the kids this weekend. Right. I don't want to hear that shit. You, who you got, man? <laughs> I think this has got to be a statement game on national TV. Mm. And you know these type of games come up throughout the course of the season where, you know, everybody going to be having their popcorn watching. This, and by no ways is this revenge. The Golden State did what they had to do to win the championship versus Boston. But Boston respects Golden State, and no matter what their record is, Golden State is Golden State when Steph Curry's out there. So they're going to be up for this game, and they're going to look at – they're going to measure – this is another measuring stick. Even though Golden State record don't say contender, it's still a measuring stick when you play them right now when it's Steph, Clay, and Draymond out there. And I think the Celtics make a statement with a win. Mm. I think the same thing. Damn, I don't like – I always agree with you <clears throat> when you're saying some real shit. Um, uh, two, to add on what you said, man – and hold on, another thing before you get on your point. Right. We got to start putting Tatum in these MVP talks. Yeah. I mean, come on now. If I'm being honest, I mean, they, I mean, they yeah. head and shoulders your, the best, your best team. team. I mean, your if best we look player. at the years, yep. the criteria is yep. the best player yep. on the best team. Right. It's Tatum. Facts. And he can make a loud Facts. statement with this game. I actually want him to win. The, uh, him and Anthony Edwards, I want, you know what I'm saying? But, but I, I had a chance to be with him another thing. You know what? I had a chance to be with him. And I don't think just working with him, being around, I don't think, like, MVP is that important for him. Regular season. He want, he want to get that title, truthfully. Yeah, he wants to get a title first before he get the MVP or some individual accolades? traditionally, and I'm going to put this in camera, guys, the MVP of the league almost never wins the championship. That's true. It's almost like a jinx. That's true. It's almost like a jinx. So if history holds true, who was the last MVP Giannis. of the season? Giannis. To win MVP Giannis. and the championship. Giannis. Giannis. But yeah. before that. Might have been Shaq. Uh, no. Cole. No. Nope. Nope. Cole. Nope. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan. Might have been Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, it was like 20, it was like 15 years nobody had did that. Or maybe Duncan. No. Shaq did. Shaq. Yeah, Shaq, Shaq did. 2000. Shaq did. That's the last oh, one no, before no. Giannis. Oh, no, no. Timmy. <laughs> Timmy. Yeah, maybe Duncan. Oh, oh, three? But it's rare. Oh, three. That's what I'm saying. You see the rarity of winning the MVP and the title? Doesn't happen it doesn't happen in the same year. Another thing we looked up, Pete, we talked about it. a guy averaging 30 and in the season to win the NBA championship goes all the way back to, to Jordan. To Jordan in 96, 97. Yeah. Damn. So it's all lining up for JT. He's not averaging 30, and he probably won't win MVP. Really? So it's lining up a championship, though. Okay, so you both got Celtics in this one. Yeah, we got the C's in this one. Cool. All right, next game. We just talked about this earlier. Knicks at Cavs. Ooh, the Knicks and Cavs. Who you liking this? And the Knicks ain't full throttle either. Let's just be clear. OG out. Goddamn uh, Randall ain't. Uh, is Randall playing? No, I know he, out. he's out. Randall are out. That's what I'm saying. These are two big. Listen, but the Knicks are making noise with the little crew they got, bro. Straight up. I'm Who you not, got? I'm not rolling with the Instagram models right now. Who you rolling with? Who you got? You got Cleveland? You yeah, got Cleveland, Cleveland going to Cavs? Yeah, yeah. This on the road? Where's this at? 
Uh, this is in Cleveland. Oh, man, shit. Yeah, without Randall, them. Um... Yeah, dog. Come on. <laughs> he making this easy today. Without Randall and OG. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard to go in there. Nah, you ain't about to go in Cleveland right now. Cleveland rolling. Man, she's going to take off. Nah, we agree. I'm going with Cleveland. We, 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 we calling it how we see it, right? She's going to take our filter off, and it's going to blow you. <laughs> yeah, take that, she take that lace front off. Take that lace off and that filter. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> what that's, is this? <laughs> well, that's it. No, last game. Uh, Sunday, Sunday's got some good games. Uh, Thunder at Phoenix. Ooh, the Thunder at Phoenix. Who you like in this, Pete? You talking all that shit? Who you like? Thunder got a winning record against winning team and playoff team. Who you like? But I understand that Durant and Booker understand the moments, and I'm going with Phoenix. I got the young boys in this one. I'm going you young, young boys. You got the young Lions? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they go in here and, 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 and smack the sons in the mouth. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like, yeah, we here. Yeah. They got, in 10-2. It's time for okay. Phoenix to gotta start having some signature wins. They it's do. Be they one. do. OKC got a strong 7-2, bro. That's another thing, too. You feel me? The Mazel Joes and the Wallaces and J Dubs, like bro, and, and the Giddy, and you feel me? Man, yeah, I'm going with the young boys. Give me OKC. Hey, now's the picks of the week. We out. Yeah. We out.